Good morning, everybody. Today I will give a lecture about the human need. So now we just the definition of the human need. So look at this picture. So in this picture, we find someone just hold the chest and feel pain. As a doctor, he diagnoses no, that's the heart attack. So let's think about it. Why the doctor know it's heart attack? It's according to the anatomical knowledge, because we know the heart behind the chest. So now we know what's the anatomy. It's the science deal with the structure. Morphology we call it's the science, the structure and the relationships. So that's what we call the anatomy. It's from the Latin language. So we have the medical terminology, so Latin roots. So for example, anatomy. Tommy meaning cut. So we just cut off something. So we study the human body. So we just cut off the body and open, look inside, what it is. So according to the medical terminology, so we know appendectomy. So we cut off the appendix, gastrectomy. So we cut off the stomach. Mastectomy, so we cut off the breast cancer. So all that we call the tomy. Now we emphasis on the division of the anatomy. So the anatomy we divide many courses. So the most important is the gross anatomy. So gross we know is the big. So we can observe it with our naked eye. So the gross anatomy is mean the big. So now we talk about we just for example. So we observation this femoral bone. So we find the head, the neck, and the trunk. So we use the naked eye. So look at the specimen. So we call it the gross anatomy. But for the living human body, he just lie on the bed. So how to examine the structures of the organs? So we use some machines. So for example, we have CT. So we have X-ray picture, and so we have ultrasound. So we call them CT, computerized tomography. So we can look at these pictures. So we can see very clear about the human body, the lung, and the bone, and the teeth. Okay. Then we have MRI. Magnetic resonance image, so we also can see the organ inside our body. So how about for the baby? Because X-ray we have the radio issue, so the baby we just use the ultrasound to see inside the mother's body. Okay, so gross anatomy we also observe the naked eye. So I just for another example. Sternal bone, chest bone. Okay, so we have the sternal angle. So sternal angle is the top of the heart. The heart is just behind the sternal angle. Okay. So now we look at the four more pictures. We know it's heart attack. Then we use the naked eye to see something, and also we can use the microscope to see the something. So we just study the tissues. So which we call it histology. So small things. So look at these pictures. So we know the kidney. That's the gross anatomy. And we look inside the kidney. And which structure just filled the water? So that's what we call the history because we study the tissue inside of the kidney. So anybody knows we study the tissues. So there are four types of tissues. So look at these pictures. So we had epithelial tissues. So look at our skin. And we have connective tissues. Look at this ball. And we have the muscular tissues. So my muscle, although it's not very strong. Then, how can I move my finger? How can I move my leg? So that's because of the nerves tissue. So totally, we have four kinds of tissues. So formed the each organs. Then anatomy also divides the development. So for example, embryology. So everybody knows. 
the human body just developed for one cell. So this cell we call the fertilized egg, a zygote. So developed a baby. So that's what we call the embryo. It's time to talk about the foundation of the modern human anatomy. So we always call it the father of the modern human anatomy. So that's what we call the Andreas Vesalius. It's a Belgian physician. So he just dissected the body and drew many beautiful pictures, even modern days. And he wrote the book, it's a very Florence. That's what we call the, the human body. So till now, anybody know, we study the human body, about the structures. Someone would ask me, how we study the body for the chemical process or the function. So that's another course you can you will learn later. That's what we call the physiology. So we all study the chemical procedure and how our stomach work, how our brain work. So that's what we call the physiology. So now we know the human body just consists of the one single cells and the cells just consist of the tissues and the two more kinds of tissues just form the one organ so the single bone is one organ and the same function organs they connect each other so we call it the system and nine systems form the, our human so this semester we talk about the human body according to the one system after another system. So we call the systematic anatomy. Then next semester we will dissect the body, study the one area and after another area. For example, we study the chest and we study the upper limbs and we study the lower limbs. So that's what we call the regional anatomy. So we will study in the next semester.